The big story tonight, <laughs> the holiday weekend. The sun is shining, temperatures are rising. Cheers, Davey, yeah. got my sweet tea. Here's what to expect. That we've got scorching heat on the menu for the weekend. Temperatures pushing into the 90s, in fact. There's lots to do, of course. If you're staying around Metro Detroit, you've got fairs, you've got concerts, you've got parades as well, of course. And if you're hitting the road, it's going to hit your wallet. You'll be paying more for gas than you have in four years. Our big story team uh, coverage begins with Action News reporter Andrea Isom. She is live in Southfield to show you what to expect as you hit the road. Cheers, Andrea. Hey guys, you know what? Every person we ran into said they are staying put this holiday weekend. Number one, because of the prices. Number two, why leave Metro Detroit now? Look at this when it is so awesome, right? Today is Friday. It's the holiday weekend, so I'm pretty happy. I'm in a good mood, so I'm going to let that $3 go. <laughs> <laughs> Me no likey when gas prices hikey. No way, Jose. <laughs> so what do you think about these high gas prices? I think they're ridiculous. In Michigan, the average price is around $3.13. And in some petroleum places in Metro Detroit, it's as high as the 320 range. Wow, that's steep. Those gas prices are out of control, and people would rather just spend the money on something else and make sure they got their barbecue stuff and, and they want to they wanna spend time at home. I'm going to Belle Isle and enjoy my family. And hey, praise God, and it's all good. So you're gonna do some grilling and chilling. Some grilling and chilling, some praying. Wonderful. Yep. Love all three. Love all three. We took the journey to one of Detroit's gems too. On Belle Isle, of course, we found folks grilling, fishing, boating, sunbathing, swimming, and just enjoying the great outdoors. This looks like the perfect staycation to me. Keeping their gas money in their pockets and not at the pump. In Michigan, being so beautiful, you don't gotta go far. Michigan's got a beautiful place within 25, 30 minutes from your home. They said you were never too far from a lake or a river in Michigan. The bloated gas prices may be a pain, but there's options, people. You know there's always other wheels you can roll around on, my friends. No, we gotta do what we have to do. Yes, indeedy, we do. Now, no matter what you decide to do, whether you want to spend the money to fill up the gas tank and hit the road, or if you want to stay here at home, number one, have fun, be safe, and enjoy the time with family or friends. I'm Andrea Heisen, reporting live, 7 Action News. Uh, salute to you, Andrea. Enjoy the holiday weekend. So as we saw, some people are staying home because of the high gas prices but others are gonna go. We're wondering what your plans are for the holiday weekends. Stay and put, got other plans? Well, there are, of course, many things that you can do. We want you to vote in our poll, wxyz.com slash vote, if you will. But even if you are staying close to home, there are festivals, there's concerts, things happening around the metro area. 7 Action News reporter, Simon Chowdhury, with a look at what's out there for all of us to enjoy. Hey guys, Yasu is not just the name of a festival, it's actually a cheer. And we're at the Yasu Festival right now in Bloomfield Hills. With me right now is Kathy Seiko. Are you very excited this year? Very excited. It's the 90th anniversary of our church in addition to our Yasu Festival, so we're delighted to be having our festival this year, be able to celebrate our, our, the heritage of our church. You know, and I love when you could celebrate culture. And this year you guys are doing something different. Not only are you having Greek music, but you're having different kinds of music here? We are. And tonight, if you like jazz, Dave Bennett Quartet's going to be here playing. He's going to have two sets this evening. Uh, and we're looking forward to that. On Saturday night, we have, we have Lilania, who's our uh, fire dancing uh, belly dancer. On uh, Sunday, we have the Zoo Wave playing 80s music. Plus, we have our adorable seniors and little ones dancing. And we also have Enigma, our Greek band that's playing all weekend long. So many things to see, to buy, to eat. Lots of things to eat, lots of things to do, lots of kids' activities, inflatables, games, a gaga pit for kids. They'll know what that is. I didn't know till this year. Um, and it's rain or shine. We have our eating facilities inside. Our food is all inside. Uh, plus, we have covered tents with lots of good things, lucumadas, uzo slushies during this hot weekend. Uh, so we have lots of wonderful things going on. 
And because this is a Greek festival, you know, there's some people out there that might not be familiar with the culture, the food. When people come to our festival, they say, everyone, everyone's so friendly, everyone's so helpful. And so, yes, they can ask a lot of questions and we'll be, able to be happy to answer any of them. All right, thank you so much, Kathy. All right, the festival has kicked off today. We'll go on today until 11. Tomorrow, 11 to 11. And then Sunday from noon to 11, again, at the St. George Greek Orthodox Church in Bloomfield Hills. And Kathy, you were nice enough to get me a Greek salad and uh, what you called Bastizzo. a... Bastizzo. I'm going to enjoy this. In the meantime, I'll send it back to you guys.